Hello and welcome to this Apex 27 feature demonstration. Uh, today I'm going to show you our brand new integration with uh, ChatGPT's Advanced Data Analysis plugin. Uh, to be able to make use of this feature you will need a ChatGPT subscription that gives you access to ChatGPT4. Uh, before you start you're going to want to make sure that uh, you have a, a user with the right privileges to be able to access the reports uh, to set that up, you just need to go to the admin panel and from that admin panel go to roles and pick the role that you want to give access to the uh, reporting and uh, just select the access advanced data analysis reports uh, option. Uh, once that's selected, uh, any user linked to that role will be able to visit the reports page and then click on the chat GPT advanced data analysis page. Uh, this page has lots of useful information, just a couple of things I want to point out here. The first one is you'll notice that by default we exclude PII, so that's personally identifiable information. Uh, even though ChatGP does say that they don't use uploaded data for training purposes, you may not want to upload PII to a public uh, uh, AI or large language model. Uh, if you're self-hosting, you may want that data, so you can enable that feature if you want to. I'm going to leave it off for this example though. Um, the other thing that I'd like to point out is we have some example prompts, and I'm sure we'll expand on those as time goes by, as well as some custom instructions. Now, uh, if you have a ChatGPT uh, account, you can set custom instructions so that uh, ChatGPT behaves in a specific way, and you may want to make use of our custom instructions. You don't have to. Uh, I do recommend though that you copy uh, the uh, prompt to clipboard and uh, this is basically a prompt that enables you to uh, prep ChatGPT and uh, let it know about the data that's going to be received. Uh, I'm going to click this little button here though to uh, download the zip file. So this is going to generate uh, a, a zip of the latest set of data inside Apex 27 that we can use to report on. Uh, once that data has been downloaded, I'm going to switch into ChatGPT. And uh, from here, I'm going to make sure I've got GPT-4 selected and the Advanced Data Analysis Plugin uh, option ticked. Uh, I'm then going to upload the exported zip file, uh, which contains all my data. And I'm also going to paste in the message that I copied uh, from the previous page, the uh, previous prompt. And this is just a prep message, basically tells ChatGPT what to expect in the uploaded zip file. So there you go, ChatGPT has now received the information and it's going to start to analyze it. Uh, it will let us know the, uh, once it's uncompressed, un, uh, decompressed the zip file, it will let us know what it's found. And then we'll be able to ask questions of the data that we've uploaded. Now you can ask all sorts of questions, but just for this demo, I'm going to give you one simple example. And that is, I'm going to ask uh, ChatGPT to let me know which agent uh, has done the most viewings over the past 60 days. Once I've entered my prompt, I can submit it. Now ChatGPT will um, take a look at the data we've analyzed. It will figure out which file it needs to access the data from, and then it will extract the data for us. ChatGPT is very intelligent. It is able to query data across all of those different files we've uploaded. So we can ask questions that uh, need to pull information from multiple sets of those files. And uh, there you can see that my colleague, John Clark, uh, and myself have done the most viewings. And um, because of the uh, prompts that we entered, uh, ChatGPT is also now asking us, um, uh, or giving us uh, uh, specific questions that we, we may want to ask uh, next. And uh, uh, the, you can set up ChatGPT to prompt you using the custom instructions. Anyway, I hope you've found this uh, uh, initial introduction to ChatGPT with Apex 27 useful. Um, we will be adding more example prompts to the ChatGPT page as time goes on. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and uh, hopefully we'll see you soon.